Good morning. This is thoughts number 27. And I've got an itch. <laughs> I really felt led, strongly led, this morning to address the cares and concerns that parents and grandparents have for our children and our little ones in today's world. This after the um, debates, unprecedented, first time in all the years that I had watched presidential debates, <clears throat> some of the issues, what I saw, and my sweetheart and I watched it together. I just thank God that we're on board, that we are like-minded, that we can have common sense conversations about what we saw last night. Today is, uh, what is it, the 28th, 27th, I didn't look at the calendar, of June 2024. And the presidential debates were with Joe Biden and Donald J. Trump. There are so many views and responses and uh, ideas and thoughts, thoughts around what happened with those debates last night. And I could go on about that, but my big concern is the children today. Parents, grandparents, those in authority, in families, dare we even say that today? Uh, looking at one of the ads on ABC, CNN, it, both of those were at the bottom of the debates. I, I was on our Roku, so I'm not sure how it got that or how it all came out, but anyway. We have got to get back to square one, folks. If we're going to have not only a country and freedom and liberty, we have to be able to define our terms. Language has been hijacked. We have words that we use today that used to have to do with innocence, sweetness, purity, holiness, honor. What about those words? What about those words? Statesmanship. When the two men running for president walked out, they did not shake hands. First time in our history. And people could jump all over Trump and his attitude, but I don't know. I started counting how many times H-E double toothpicks and D-A-M-N were used by our so-called commander-in-chief. Or as some say, mumbling through what, when I got raised, that was obscenities. The children are watching these leaders. And I remember that word children came up towards the end when Trump said, we're, we're basically, I'm paraphrasing, we're starting to go low. He said, let's not act like children. We're supposed to be an example for the children. We're in the month of June. All kinds of celebrations are going on with nudity in the streets and uh, carousing, drunken carousing, half-naked uh, 
people dressed up like the Wizard of Oz, all colorful. And I see little babies being pushed in their carriages, kids walking around looking at half-nude people, signs that have obscenities on them. What the heck is going on, folks? This is what our children are looking to as an example. Am I not happy with what I'm talking about today? You darn right I am not happy. Doggone darn. My mother used to get upset if we said darn. <laughs> we used to get taken down to the basement and have a bar of ivory soap stuck in our mouths if we talked mean to our sibling, brother or sister, or we even used a word like back then, I remember when we were really mad at a kid, we'd call him a spastic. <laughs> I mean, we had words that they were nothing like today's bad language or obscene words. And I tell you, I remember that soap in my mouth. It didn't taste good because it doesn't taste or sound good when another person uses language. This F word today, it, it's thrown around. I can be in Walmart and some adult man is looking at his kid and effing, effing, effing that child. And then they're looking at their parent dressed wildly, covered in all kinds of expensive ink from head to toe. Now, I'm not saying the end of the world has to do with that issue. People are going to spend money on their appearance, their outward appearance, whether it's on the full body or it's the clothes they wear or the Halloween costume they got and put on for the marching of the alphabet world. You know, naked we came in, naked we go out. Blessed be the name of the Lord. <laughs> you look in front of the mirror, you lie on the slab when you're dead and gone, and they take a blood test. Look at your DNA. Look at the X, the Y, the chromosomes. That's where clarity is. I'm talking clarity if some of you are following me today. Getting all these little balls and messages up on my phone. <laughs> Clear thinking. We have been given power. To have a sound mind, not fear, we're given power, love, and a sound mind in this world. No matter what kooky stuff is going on all around us, or people acting out and screaming obscenities or dancing around dressed up in their Halloween costumes. And then again, God looks on the heart. Man looks on the outside. He's the final judge. You know, I'm trying to get this some of this hair going in my eye. <laughs> we all are concerned about our appearances. Everybody is, or they're lying. <laughs> and I would say especially women, but today... We're having problems with definitions. What do words mean? When we're at the alphabet thing. <laughs> Here's
here we are talking about the uh, the draft in the last week or so. And they say, well, we're, we're going to maybe draft girls and women. or And then we have debates over what is a woman. We have a woman judge on the Supreme Court who sits there saying, well, I don't know if I can tell you or define. Are you serious? Can you stand in front of the mirror and see with your eyes reality? When our lawmakers are going to say, okay, we're going to send women. Well, I guess when you got some crossover going on, that means everybody going to be included. Just going to share a little note on this uh, warfare thing. Being married to a military man and his friends and their conversations lately over this, every one of them says, I've had some great women that have served under me and I served under in various capacities in the military, whether Navy, Air Force, Army, doesn't matter. But they all said this, you get a woman and you're in battle. That's a different kind of service. And there's a man who is getting shot or beat up or whatever in battle. And you'll see one guy go to help him. But you have a woman. They said, we can assure you the natural instinct of the male even though he might be confused in the alphabet group. You'll see those guys get up and maybe six or seven of them run over to help that female. There are natural instincts. Lately I've been hearing this business of, what is nature? Nature, nurture. What is natural? Looking at my time. Am I getting to the point? If you know what I'm talking about, you're getting the point. There's so much uh, removal these days if you use a certain word. Uh, you get the community standard conversations from censorships that go on. <clears throat> Allegedly, they like to use that word too. Here's the point. Why are some being predators? And why are the predators in the schools, on our TV ads, corporations, entertainment companies, movie stars, entertainers, sports athletes, why are they being given a platform? Predators used to be put in prison. There's two Ps. Perpetrators on little children were called to account. Why are our school boards filled with individuals that are predatory and perpetrators? And I would go so far, having been a teacher for many years, to ask, how did they start to get away with this? And how were they able to poison the minds of adults who should be protecting our children. When did leaders and men, uh, can we define them? Who knows? Males, females, adults, parents, mothers, fathers, grandparents. When did they become afraid and why are they afraid to protect 
perpetrators and predators on our kids and how have they been getting away with this? By invading curriculums? Hallways with messages? Coming into schools and grooming kids? Using the word diverse? And little anime faces with love is love? on the fronts of books that they slip into libraries and then you open up those books and it's a training manual for predatory behavior. Did you know that these guys that have been in prison for years for going after children are in the candy store right now with all of this? Because they're in game and take this to heart is to lower the age of consent. And sadly, a lot of these guys, and many of them are men, some are female. Oops, how do we define that? <laughs> many of them were victims themselves. And they get older, and they begin to transfer the adult abuse of behavior that was done to them onto doing it to children when they become adults. And by the way, I know what I'm talking about because I worked the streets. I've counseled and it's been quite a few. I'm I'm not the common old folk here. <laughs> I've had men and women, but I've had a bunch of guys cry their eyes out with me and tell me these horrible things that happen to them. When they get old and they begin to realize that they too have taken the abusive things, the victimization on them when they were small and in their unhealthy behavior have not been set free. From addictive sexual habits and behaviors. Okay, I'm going to close this uncomfortable topic up with it's about time to get clarity and common sense for the sake of our kids it's about time to go into the schools and clean house and stop the predatory behavior on children get them back on the swings playing instead of sitting in classrooms and being told a bunch of bruja, insane teaching of unhealthy behavior, filling their heads with thoughts they would never have if it were not for a takeover of our public education system by this sick, pervy agenda. And school boards filled with people orchestrated to get us where we're at today. Can we turn it around? Be brave. Mo mothers, fathers, grandparents. Some of you who are teachers and administrators that you can't take it anymore because you know that it's wrong. Right and wrong? Well, this is my truth. This, oh, no. Don't play that game. Hurting children is wrong. It's time to take a stand. It's time to be brave and courageous. I had to watch some of these twisted ads in between watching the debates last night. 
indicative, and by the way, that topic didn't come up very much that I'm talking about today. It's a hot topic. Got to get our hearts right. Get on our knees and pray for America, for a world that's gone astray. To bring innocence and purity and honor, courage, bravery back into the lives. A heritage in this country that we had, a Christian heritage of truth, justice, honor, and liberty, but not perverting our children anymore. And that's a prayer I have in Jesus' mighty name. Go out, do your part, and be strong today.